Hey guys, what's up? This is Colin from Wizard Tricks. Hope you guys are having a good one. In one of my recent videos, I decided that I was gonna go hard and spent over 500 scrolls on my profession. So I'm gonna jump in there and show you guys a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna solo a Dark Forest level one. Uh, so check this out. I'm level 12 now, a level 12 or got pretty much all my specializations done, uh, as well as all my hexes and uh, and my charm is doesn't get increased anyways. Um, but that's my stats right there I uh, only have one thing maxed out and that's accuracy but I'm gonna go and show you how to solo the dark forest chamber one so we are right here um, not dark chamber but the dark forest on uh, chamber one and um, well above I'm well above uh, being able to do that by myself in terms of the recommended level I'm actually gonna one of my future videos I'm going to show you how to solo a dark chamber uh, which is the highest level um, as well but I'm gonna do a chamber one on that one so I'm gonna show you guys that as well which should be epic uh, but I'm gonna jump in here because a lot of people haven't even gotten to the forest chambers and it's such a cool it's actually probably I like like the look of it even more than the dark chamber which is also pretty epic um, but I really really enjoy um, kind of the graphics inside of this particular one and a lot of people haven't seen it because they haven't had a group with to do it but I am here to tell you that you don't even need a group to be able to solo uh, as I let myself get hit um, you don't even need to have a group to actually solo the um, any ch any chamber. Actually, you can do it all on your own. Every profession is able to do it. I am an auror, so you can kind of see what my stats are to be able to do it. Um, potions, of course, do help, uh, especially if you're not quite as high level. If you do have potions, um, that is going to be a great assist. And and admittedly, it can be fairly luck of the draw too in terms of what type of enemies you get um, if they're your proficiency or if they're your deficiency so getting for me getting a lot of auras actually is uh, or sorry getting a lot of dark wizards and getting uh, a lot of death eaters is beneficial to me so that's ideally what I'm looking for but you can see I'm kind of pounding through and I've um, really increased my perfect my precision but I've also increased um, my critical power and my power which means I can do a ton of damage and do a lot of critical hits which you just saw so uh, that adds a ton of benefits to that plus I have I start with four um, for my focus and it has I get basically plenty of focus and using my hexes as an aura is a really big deal you should if you're an aura you should really pump up your hexes as soon as you possibly can because they do a ton they give you a ton of help when you're doing uh fortress uh, battles of, of really any kind uh, both for yourself and teammates and if you have four focus at the beginning of your um at the beginning of the fortress battle you can use it to either give some energy to someone else gives focus to someone else or you can use it to actually make other people's enemies even easier to handle so especially if you have maybe someone who's a little lower level or you're you want to power through some of the um, things that you're you have deficiency in or your uh, teammate has a deficiency in and then you can get those powered up and it's super helpful uh, so the focus is also a really big deal as well so um, so yeah that's pretty much what I've done in terms of uh, making my particular uh, setup really good. I usually will allow myself to die because you have plenty of time. I'm going to use a healing potion um, so that I can kind of conserve uh, the length of the video. But um, but I let myself die once so I can conserve um, healing potions for when I'm doing higher level um, uh, fortresses. So definitely feel free to do that. You just have to be really aware of time. Um, if you let yourself uh, basically get knocked out too many times, then you do run into an issue where you uh, won't have enough time left to complete the, the fortress battle. But um, usually if you experiment with it, you can usually get through it um, pretty pretty well uh, if you don't die more than one or two times uh, I would say if you get knocked out three times there's probably no way to complete it but you can see I have four minutes left and um, I have plenty plenty of uh, ability to wrap this up I'm gonna use another healing potion though just so I can 
Again, conserve time, um, but I'm gonna get this guy knocked out, and I think I'll use an Assimilo potion, and I really wanna show the Assimilo potion because it's actually a much bigger help than I realized originally. I'll show you on this Dark Pixie, because I didn't actually realize when the Assimilo potion came out, I thought it was just for catching uh, or returning foundables, but if you use a Assimilo potion, it makes you extreme, like so much stronger. Like, let me show you, like that almost did 400, that did almost four, over 400 damage actually, which is crazy, um, and it lasts four times. So when you're battling fortresses, and the potent one is like insane too. So definitely if you're going higher level, you know, get those Assimilo potions and use those Assimilo potions during your fortress battles. Um, it makes a huge difference, uh, so. So yeah, definitely, definitely that's a huge tip uh, for that. And I got a port key, I'll do that later. Um, but that is Soling, um, the dark the dark chamber, or sorry, not the dark chamber, the dark forest um, level one. And I, I could do higher than that. Like you saw, I had like four minutes left. I did use a couple healing potions to kind of conserve time on that. Um, but it's really not that bad to do a forest chamber once you really build up your profession. And um, if you do the brilliant events, you can build up your profession really quick. So I definitely recommend it. Um, but that is how to solo uh, a, a dark forest uh, a dark forest fortress uh, in Wizards Unite. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know your feedback. Let me know if you have any suggestions for any of the other professions as well. I am an Auror and I know other people aren't Aurors it, um, that watch my channel so definitely feel free to drop a comment and of course smash that like button uh, for that fortress battle hope you guys enjoyed that let me know uh, how you like the video and of course subscribe to the channel really appreciate it by the way I am looking for a small group of people I have a handful of people who have already joined but I am wanting to put together a small group that can help me um, let me bounce ideas off of and help give me some direction and help give me feedback on um, specific things in regards to my channel um, that is extremely helpful so if you want to be really like in the the know and like behind the scenes and uh, basically know what's going on on the back side of my channel um, in order to create these videos for you I would love um, for you to join this group if you're interested drop a comment let me know that you're interested in uh, in being part of that group I'm looking for a handful of more people to be a part of that uh, thank you to everyone who's already in that group and looking forward to that growing a little bit um, so we can continue to have some really cool feedback and you can do even better videos for all you guys so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time on uh, with Wizards Unite uh, thanks for watching bye